Hey, happy Friday. I'm Natasha Curry in for Rob and me. Let's get you caught up. First this. The U.S. may have to go it alone in any military strikes over Syria's suspected chemical attack. Many Americans want the U.S. to stay out of Syria, and they're not keeping quiet. Much more on that in about 30 minutes coming up. But because this is Morning Express, we do have a lot more news to catch you up on. Uh, are you getting ready for the long holiday weekend, packing up your bags already? Well, according to AAA, 34 million Americans are traveling for Labor Day. So what does the weather look like if you're going to be flying today or even driving? Bob Van Dillen has your travel forecast. Bob, what can we expect? Yeah, good morning, good morning, Natasha. Yeah, get away on a Friday, Labor Day. Tim Tebow was given one last opportunity last night to prove that he deserves a spot on the New England Patriots. but. His up and down game may have left more questions than answers. Carlos Diaz has more in this Bleacher Report update. So what's up with Tebow? If you went to bed early last night, you turned off the TV after the first like series that Tebow was in, you're like, he's not going to make it. Mm. But later he did well. Oh. Tebow was hoping to be flawless. You're starting quarterback then. <laughs> That's your Bleacher Report, Natasha. Thank you, Carlos. Hey, this is serious business here. Will the U.S. possibly strike Syria alone? George Zimmerman's wife isn't sure if their marriage will last. She avoided talking about the relationship in a new interview. Shelley Zimmerman says that she and George have been scared for their lives since his murder trial, and now she says she has a lot of thinking to do. Jennifer Westhoven is out today, so I've got your business news for you. More Americans will pay income tax in 2013 than in past years. That's according to the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center. Wacky engagement photos are all the rage in Hong Kong and big business for photographers. Creative couples in the, that city are skipping the traditional settings and going for Photoshop pics of themselves on a fluffy cat or sitting on pastries. Huh? <laughs> One woman is serving up options for at-risk teens in San Francisco to build a better future. She saw firsthand how other programs didn't work, and then she decided she would do something about it. That makes her today's CNN hero. Nominations for this year's CNN Heroes end on Saturday night at midnight Eastern, so hurry up and vote. Go to hlntv.com slash Robin for the link to nominate someone who you know who's making a difference and deserves to be recognized. Nursing moms have landed some help to make breastfeeding easier at the airport. Plus, yeehaw! Just felt like doing that for you. It's Friday anyway, why not, right? It's time for your morning read stories that pop out at us from newspapers and online. A Vermont airport is making breastfeeding easier for traveling moms with a kiosk. Hallelujah! WCAX said. George Zimmerman's wife is not sure if their marriage will last. She avoided talking about their relationship in a brand new interview. Shelley Zimmerman says that she and George have been scared for their lives since his murder trial. And now she says that she has a lot of thinking to do. Take care of my daughter. That's what South Dakota's governor said jokingly right before he jumped out of a plane. Alert the authorities. Someone just found some toothpaste. You're kidding. The security scare sparked at a one office building we're going to tell you about. People in Kansas City already have Halloween on the brain. Look! Organizers say that yesterday's strike by fast food workers was the biggest in the industry's history. People frantically called 911 when they saw an eight-year-old boy driving a car that was swerving all over the road. But police don't think the boy will face any charges. The wife of rocker and gun rights advocate Ted Nugent is accused of bringing a gun into an airport. And good morning to you. How you doing on this Friday morning? Hopefully you have a long holiday weekend off. I hope so. I'm Natasha Curry in for Robin Mate. We have just learned today that the White House will release what it calls evidence that Syria used poison gas on hundreds of civilians last week. The U.S. has been pushing for some kind of response against Syria. Late last night, uh, the president, he had a big conference call with lawmakers trying to persuade them that the U.S. has to take action against Syria. Here's CNN's Dana Bash. 
So that is tomorrow again. But many Americans want the U.S. to stay out of Syria, and they're not keeping quiet either. In about 30 minutes, I'm going to talk live with one of the protest organizers. But because this is Morning Express, we do have a lot more news to cover for you and catch you up on. So here goes. Are you getting ready for the long holiday weekend just yet? Are you packing your bags right now, maybe? Well, according to AAA, how's the weather looking for this nice holiday weekend as you're getting away? Bob Van Dillen has your travel forecast. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. And I'll tell you what, it looks really nice right Ooh. now. We the NFL has agreed to settle a lawsuit with thousands of former players over concussion-related brain injuries. Uh, Carlos, what a landmark deal. Yeah, good morning, Natasha. Football experts say... All right, time for some health news. The makers of Extra Strength Tylenol are putting a new warning label on the bottle. It will say contains acetaminophen. Actor Clint Eastwood and his wife of 17 years are separated. It's one of the stories trending right now online. Dina Eastwood confirmed the news. The couple has apparently been living apart for a while. They have one daughter together who is 16. Fewer people are getting behind the wheel. According to a new study, the recession is a big part of it, but researchers say that more people are also telecommuting. The average Californian cut their mileage more than 6% between 2005 and 2011. Black-eyed pea singer Fergie and actor Josh Duhamel are the brand new parents of a baby boy. Listen to this name, Axel Jack Duhamel was born yesterday in LA. He weighed seven pounds, 10 ounces. It's the first child for the couple who were married in 2009. Duhamel says that he's excited and nervous to be a dad. Congrats to them. The Georgia teen accused of shooting a toddler in a stroller could soon learn his fate just hours from now. 11 minutes past the hour now. Uh, jurors will not hear from a Georgia teen accused of shooting a 13-month-old boy in his stroller. 18-year-old Demarquis Elkins is on trial for allegedly killing the toddler during an attempted robbery in March. Closing arguments are set to begin this morning. And HLN's Ryan Smith has more for you on the final day of testimony. Look. Yeah, Ryan Smith with that. Uh, and you can also catch all the big moments throughout the day right here on HLN. Closing arguments, remember, are scheduled to begin today at 9 a.m. Eastern. Florida is planning to fight an invasion of snails with Labrador retrievers. The dogs will be used to sniff out the snails. The giant African, ew, look at that. The giant <laughs> African land snail. You're not kidding, it's giant. It's one of the world's most destructive species. They can grow as big as rats and devour plants and even stucco. Florida has spent $6 million trying to get rid of the snails. College football fans, they got an appetizer last night, and the main course is tomorrow. And you know Carlos is already eyeing that menu, aren't you? Pizza, wings, <laughs> football, that's all I'm saying to you. Yes, it's a big weekend. Jennifer Westhoven's off today, so I've got your business news for you. The feds say they will treat legally married same-sex couples as married for tax purposes. One scientist says that we all are a bunch of Martians. He was speaking at a conference about his theory that life began on Mars. There is some very good news on actress Valerie Harper's battle with brain cancer. HLN's AJ Hammer has that story and more in your celebrity buzz. Hey, AJ. And you know, too, Valerie Harper is also rumored to be a contestant on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. No comment from her reps on that or the show. The new cast will be announced next week. Time for your morning read. You ready for it? Those are the stories that pop out at us from newspapers and online. A Vermont airport, love this, is making breastfeeding easier for traveling moms with a kiosk. It's Labor Day weekend to most of you, but people in Kansas City have Halloween on the brain already. Hey, a crash on a busy overpass left a truck dangling over the edge. Look at this. <laughs> There are some things you can do to make sure that you don't get ripped off when you're buying a new car. HLN money expert Clark Howard tells you the secret of that. Great advice from Clark as always. A key U.S. ally is saying no to President Obama's push to take action against Syria. So what's the response? <laughs> Mickey, what a headbang there. Okay, 28 minutes past the hour. Here are some of the stories trending right now online. Fewer people are getting behind the wheel. 
According to a new study, the recession is a big part of that, but researchers say that more people are also telecommuting. The average Californian cut their mileage more than 6% between 2005 and 2011. Boston legal star James Spader will play the next bad guy in the Avengers movie. He's set to play the robot character Ultron. A lot of Marvel fans have been showing support for him on social media. The Avengers Age of Ultron comes out in 2015. And Denver Broncos' Aaron Brewer is apparently the worst player in the NFL. That's according to a video game anyway. Madden 25 came out this week, and it ranks all the players. The game's creator says players complain to him all the time about their ranking. No word from Brewer. It was a beautiful late summer day, but the minds and hearts in Biloxi, Mississippi were on a horrible day eight years ago. Christian, excuse me. And good morning to you. It's Friday. Thank goodness it is. I'm Natasha Curry in for Rob and me. Let's get to the headlines we're working on for you this morning. Now, President Obama will not try to block state laws that make pot legal. A couple and their two little girls, they got a terrifying shock when three armed robbers burst into their Detroit home and held them hostage. It led to an eight-hour standoff yesterday morning. God, they're all right, though. Two kittens brought trains to a halt in the New York City subway. Riders spotted the cute little kittens on the tracks. Look at them. So those rats are bigger than cats. I, I know have not down seen there one yet. System. I think I might have seen one that was about this big, but I don't know. Their tails are like a half a foot long. <laughs> Good morning, Bob. Nothing better than you. All right, Bob, looking forward to that. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Hey, George Zimmerman's wife apologized to Trayvon Martin's family. Some people forced to evacuate because of that huge wildfire near Yosemite National Park are now allowed to go back home. The Rim Fire has burned nearly 200,000 acres. The NFL has agreed to settle a lawsuit with thousands of former players over concussion-related brain injuries. Uh, Carlos, what a landmark deal. Yeah, good morning, Natasha. Football experts say... Carlos Diaz, thank you. Mm -hmm. Organizers say yesterday's strike by fast food workers was the biggest in the industry's history. <music> Prosecutors in Montana are looking for some way to appeal a 30-day sentence for a teacher who raped a student. And you can see Dr. Drew on call Monday through Thursday at 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern, excuse me, only on HLN. All right, Jennifer Westhoven is off today, so I've got your business news for you. More Americans will pay income tax in 2013 than in past years. That's according to the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center. Wacky engagement photos are all the rage in Hong Kong and big business for photographers. I <laughs> love it. Nursing moms have landed some help to make breastfeeding easier at the airport. Plus, what are you gonna do when the world don't open up? Take care of my daughter. That's what South Dakota's governor said jokingly right before he jumped out of a plane. <laughs> If you've ever uh, been starving for some football action for months and months and months, well, you know, now your plate is about to be filled with all the football you can possibly handle. Carlos has more in this Bleacher Report. What are you doing? I got my gnomes. <laughs> I got my college football gnomes here, you know, because it's football season is here. And I'm so excited. It's been several <laughs> months. Seven. I'm getting a little message here. Uh -huh. yeah, it, yeah, it's a big weekend, I know. Oh, uh, whispered it's, sweet it's, it's in a, your a, ear. Yeah, Well, you know, these gnomes, you can't, whoo, you're going to watch out. <laughs> That's your Bleacher Report. Natasha, college football is officially here. I'm happy. I'm leaving. All right. See ya. Bye, Carlos. All right. Alert the authorities. Someone just found some toothpaste. The security scared that it sparked off at one office building and two tiny miracles. 17 minutes past the hour, it's Getaway Friday ahead of this long holiday weekend. Bob Van Dillen has your air travel update. So, Bob, how are those airports looking? Yeah, so far so good. Just checked with the F. You might want to do your child's teacher a favor. Do not send them to school sick. That's what one teacher confessed to us. They've been sharing their classroom secrets and frustrations as part of our back to school week. So check out here our final teacher confidential. 